Hello and welcome to another Spry tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create a Spry tooltip. When you're creating a Spry tooltip, what it is is something that pops up whenever you scroll over a specified region or a specified block element. Now you can you can do this over a div tag, over an image, or basically any block element that you want to create a tooltip for. So for this example we're just gonna highlight some text and we're gonna display a tooltip whenever someone hovers over that. So you click on spry tooltip and as you can see it inserted a span around the text that we highlighted and it also inserted a div down here and this is where the content goes. So I'm just gonna copy this and throw it inside this div save that I'm going to go here and reload this page and now you can see that whenever we scroll over this text the tooltip is going to pop up there are a few options that we can mess around with when dealing with some tooltips here we, we can see that we have a follow a mouse and hide all mouse out Follow mouse means that it's going to follow the mouse everywhere it goes, just like that. And hide all mouse out means that it's going to hide whenever the mouse goes outside of either the specified area. By specified area, I mean this. And also, if the, if the cursor is inside of the tooltip, then it's going the tooltip will stay up. For this example, we are just going to leave that unchecked. But now you know what it is. And they also have some effects blind and fade. Maybe you can check those out if you want. And uh we also have a delay for the defects, for the effects and for the uh the tooltip if if you want to have a delay. And we can also change some horizontal and vertical offsets and what that means is it's going to move over horizontally left to right or vertically up and down based on the number that you put from where the mouse position once it enters in the area is and that is it for tooltips as you can see it's there's not much here in the CSS um, I added some padding and you can change the background color if you want change it to white and uh, maybe give it a border too oops border is one pick solid black okay Let's save that reload oh we didn't save the CSS there we go. Now you can see that it's a white background with a black border. So that is how you create a tooltip inside of Dreamweaver CS4. Very simple. Very cool. And in the next tutorial we're going to start dealing with uh, some sprite data sets. We'll see how to display a large amount of data using XML and sprite data sets. So Make sure you check out that tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial.